planner, friends. So, I went ahead and set up my May um, monthly budget. I had a kit, but I had issues and I couldn't print it. So, I was like, whatever. You know what? Budget. Right? Let's use up some stuff that we have. So, first, these are the Erin Condren. Probably came in a uh, seasonal box or something. This one, I don't... Does it have the colors? It's this set. Okay, cornflower and... Um, so I think my colors are wrong because there's the teal, there's the purple, dark orange magenta, cornflower. I didn't get a black in this. I got this pink color. So I don't know what color that is. I guess it just was put in there wrong because I do have a black one, but it came like a separate thing. Anyways. I love this color though. I think it's gorgeous. And then these are the Friction 07 erasable pens. I love these for the budget. So the stickers I used, and I've already put up my washi, is just from this is the edition five monthly thing from Erin Condren. This one's the edition four. So I just picked out some stickers from there and used those. And then I have a bunch of these. Well, not a bunch, but I have a few. <laughs> so I'm going to just use these. I'm not going to worry about colors or anything like that. I do have like a little cheat sheet dashboard that has the bills and the date. And then I have them checked off if they've been paid. As you can see, um, April, I didn't, I haven't paid my truck payment because it's on deferment. I'll pay. So let me clarify with that. That was on a video that I didn't end up posting. So on my truck payment, I am keeping it in my budget, but I'm putting that money into my savings account because I don't know when my work will pick up again. And so I do know they're furloughing people, like all but one of the operators I work with is getting furloughed. So I want to make sure that money is in there and so I've just been putting it in savings and then when it's when I start paying it and I'll pay again, I'll defer again April and May. I get two deferments. And then in June I will pay again. I already have money in my savings account to go towards that in case I need it. So that being said, I'll even if I just need like a hundred or two hundred because I have the rest from a check, it'll be in there so I won't be like completely crazy with that so that's my little cheat sheet so this is just a monthly deluxe I'm so going with the binder next time okay so I haven't put any numbers or anything like that in here I did go ahead and do my budget so and I just used like I said those stickers and the friction pins and made my little which I didn't go all the way and I just used my Erin Condren ruler I like did part of them all the way and then I didn't do the rest. So I went ahead and set it up off camera because I didn't want to bore y'all while I'm trying to do all this and erase everything that I messed up on and you know, all those little fun things. Um, okay, cool. Washi again, Simply Gilded. They just sit there so why not use them? So this is on the back of my April. I'm like, what month is it? Sorry. Um, peach is like the color. I don't know what to do with this page yet. I didn't even do anything with it last month because I'm, I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. So if you have ideas, let me know. This, I don't know. I don't ever have that many people's birthdays. So I do mark that out. Because I don't need it. And I don't know what I want to put there. So here, I just did some trackers. So a no spin tracker, no eating out tracker, and a no planner items. Because I have, since being in quarantine, I don't know what my deal is. But I'm like, retail therapy, online shopping. And it's been, it's blown my budget like horrible. So we're going to try not to spend anything in March. If I do... Just a little bit. Um, 
I have a few monthly goals that I wrote on a, actually I wrote them on a sticker to put them on a different page. So one of my monthly goals, again, is to save me. Save and track monies. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do kind of the same because my eating out has been like crazy too. Okay, so let me do 15 no spend days. Fifteen, no eating out. I'm hoping more, but. And then what was my other goal? Which I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No spend days, so not bad. And I do, I will spend money tonight because I need to go to the store. What was I doing? Oh, my goals. <laughs> my train of thought is so awful. Okay, and then monthly goes June budget. Okay, so we're going to use this as next month for June. We're going to switch over to this one. So next month is uh, my little niece's birthday. So, I do know that. Like I said, I don't know what I want to do there yet. I haven't decided. Okay. We'll go back over. Okay, so here is my monthly spreadsheet. So, I do have, and these, I don't know who these are from, to be perfectly honest. Ah, there's my paydays. And I have these little payday stickers also. Again, I don't know who they're from. I don't remember. And I had to cut it to... Okay. I don't know if these are these pencil. Oh, they do, but yucky. Yucky. It's like, I know I have an eraser. Okay. No, it's self. Don't do that. Sorry about that. Okay, let's do it from here. Perfect. Okay. And on the 23rd, I get paid. Sorry. My allergies are so awful right now. It's crazy. Okay, so those are my paydays. Okay, so, back my cheat sheet. Okay, so on the first is my rent, which this rent will come out of the paycheck I just got on the 24th. I just need to write the check and drop it off. Let's see, my gas bill is due on the 10th. I don't really mark all excuse me mark holidays in here because it's budget my mom's already passed away and so i don't really do anything for mother's day i'll make sure and tell my aunt happy mother's day and my sister happy mother's day but then that i really don't do anything for that day it's kind of a hard day netflix and i don't know if you're like me but we've been living off of netflix here lately um itunes i pay for like the 550 I don't remember, like the 99 cent one of extra storage on my phone. So, Suddenlink has due, I have like everything due on the 17th. Suddenlink is our cable and our, our, our my, um, internet. There we go. Okay, Simply Gilded. I don't know if she'll pull out the, the Friday before or the 18th because it's due. She said on the 17th, but by the time it hits my bank, it probably won't be till the 18th. So we're going to mark it on the 18th. 
Okay. And then my Verizon bill is auto-drafted. That actually comes out on the 14th, which I put on the 17th, but I forgot they auto-draft. And so it comes out a few days early. So let me just change that. Then, let's see, my Reliant is due on the 23rd. Reliant is my electricity. Let's see, my truck payment, which like I said, I'm, it's just going in savings for the next couple of months. That way I have it. Um, water is due on the 29th. And just because right now, if I try to pay that, I really won't have any money to pay everything else because I'm not getting everything right now. I'm not getting all my money. This is always due on the last day of the month, but since that's a I mean, since that's a holiday, since the 31st is a Sunday, I'm assuming it probably try to pull out beforehand. Okay, and I'll use these. Sorry, that thing was coming off and it was bugging me. I'll use those for the next one. Yay! Okay, so on these, this is just to use these cute little things. That's my water bill. It's a Verizon electric bill, car payment, and rent. And those are from Franny. Is it Franny? Ah, I have them in there upside down. Yeah, Franny's lamb stickers. I'm not sure how I did that, but I put those in there upside down. And that's where I got like a few of those little cute ones. So. So this is just an Erin Condren sticker, and these are some goals. Just save and track, save money and put more money into my emergency fund for cases like this. Uh, track spending, let's see, next month, like I said, as of right now, I just know of my niece's birthday, which I needed. I didn't, I haven't gotten my little baby niece anything either. Should be five. Eek. Okay then. So. Then you open that back up, and then I'll use these from Planner Kate to add my expenses in there. So this is my first budget, or not my first budget, my May 8th check budget, so my income, um, actual, plus what the difference was, extra, is because um, my ex, I have his cell phone bill is still on my plan so he'll give me that money back and then he does help out with bills so that'll go there child support I do get that that is something I will not show because I just don't think I should so and then our gas bill Netflix I'll budget all of this which I don't mind doing that right now actually and then well, let me go ahead and run through this this is my May 22nd this one is my weekly check-in, food, gas, entertainment, personal, and unbudgeted. So this and budget spent remaining, and I have one throughout the week, so four weeks. And then this is my stinking funds, car maintenance, Christmas, emergency home, kids, and vacation, starting plus minus remaining. So I actually have these cash envelopes here. And so I do have money in my bank because I had to, how do I, so 
my ex pays his car payment or his truck payment so I had to pull out cash from these to pay his truck payment and then he just sent me the cash back into my bank so I haven't pulled out that cash from my bank account so in car maintenance there's 2040 like I said I pulled out a hundred from there and I need to pull that 400 out of my bank but I don't want to do put that in here yet because I haven't done it and I know me so we're gonna do 40 this is my starting balance this is just for oil changes um, tires anything that has to do with my truck or my car so we do have our I have another car it'll be my daughter she'll be 18 this year so that car is hers but the car is paid for yay i'm so excited on that okay christmas again i took 100 out of here 20 40 65 now with christmas i don't go crazy on christmas i it's just kind of like one of those like i'll get i try to keep my budget like at 500 because my kids are older and they already have everything Although the one thing that they, my, both of them want is a Nintendo Switch. Those things are extremely expensive. So this is home. This is in case I just need stuff for the house. Like, I need a lawnmower. Um, I want to get a new kitchen table, a new furniture, you know, stuff like that. 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. And budgeting, I will say... One of the other reasons I'm doing this is to keep me accountable. Because if I have to say, oh, I spent this much, I'm like, oh, I have to tell them that I spent this. I've always been like that, though. This is kids. This is for school clothes. Um, my daughter graduates next year, so I've got to start saving money for that. 20, 40, 60, 80. And I'll put more in there, of course. Again, money was taken out of here. Um... just little stuff like that vacation I did take the money out of there to pay for the truck payment so again I haven't put it back yet so there is that and those go in a safety like lock box so yay I did part of it okay so let's go back to me let's do this budget mm. So Suddenlink runs usually about 135. We'll see. Gas bill. I think that was actually pretty cheap this month. It was only like maybe 50. Yeah. I'm gonna do yeah, I'm just gonna do 50 because it's hot here in Texas. So um this one I'm actually gonna budget a hundred because I've been having to run the AC more. I'm looking for okay it was I'm gonna do water 111 food I budget 500 400 for groceries and 100 for eating out hopefully less I want to save money from that so here's the thing I was doing cash envelopes and then um, I I don't know what my deal is with cash envelopes. I like them, but oh, okay. So all this hit and I couldn't go to the bank. I went to the ATM, of course it didn't work. And then I just haven't went to go get. I just use my debit card. Plus I can track my spending better with my debit card because I can pull up my bank account. Yeah, there is that issue gas um let's budget 200 for the month entertainment just 50 personal 100 for the month uh grove if you haven't used it it's pretty cool usually at first time signing up you get like so many free gifts um i get like so all we have here in my town is a walmart woohoo and I think now they've started selling the method. I don't remember. But usually Target is the one who has that. Well, I live hour and a half away from the Target. So 
I just order some stuff from there. They have all the cleaners. It's about the same price. So, um, and I love their walnut scrubbers. They're the best scrubbers. So, I usually don't spend 30 bucks. If that, I usually don't even spend this unless I'm having to like really get a bunch of stuff. And they have great customer service because my UPS, one of my boxes, they completely demolished it. They had it, it looked like they had did the whole Ace Ventura pet detective when he's kicking the boxes everywhere. I know they didn't, but that's what it looked like. And that box was just, one of the cleaners was completely spilt out. There was nothing in there. The other one had like this much of the stuff in there because they had, it, it was awful. And so, I did contact them and they gave me a credit so I could reorder this stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. So unbudgeted is always zero. Cushion, I like to keep a hundred in there just in case something goes. So rent, I pay nine fifty for rent. Netflix is eighteen. Verizon is three fifty. Again, it's my phone. My son's phone, my ex's phone, and a couple other devices on there. iTunes is a dollar. Um, my truck, I'm not going to put that in there because I don't want to hear it because my truck is expensive. It's brand new. And there's reasons why it's expensive like that. Progressive is $307. Um, I do have more than one vehicle on there is why simply gilded 46 I've kind of went over why that's there. sinking funds I need to figure out how much I want to put towards those and this is 140 for shakes so I'll add up all of that stuff put my budgets in there and everything Let's zoom you back out so yeah nothing fancy nothing crazy and I'll go in and fill out my budget part of it and I really need to figure out probably because okay for Christmas I do spend more than 500 because I do have to I have four nieces that I have to pay that I have to pay for that I buy for and their and my sister and her fiance and then I have to pay I have to buy I buy a gift for my dad and his wife and um his daughter so there is that so I do have a little bit more stuff to do but so I really want to sit down and figure out what I need to save emergency my first goal is a thousand and I don't know why I put 56 there because that is definitely not that I'll have to look because that one stays in my bank account 56 80 and zero Okay, there we go. I have to look at my bank and see what's in my emergency fund because I really don't know. And I need to put more money in there and I just haven't done it. So, yeah. So, I shall be back on the 1st. Friday, Monday, Friday or Monday, Saturday. One of those days. And I will um, do my check-in. Let's see, because this check-in only went to, yeah, the 30th. So, yeah. So it was great seeing you. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.